Good morning, Finley Dreamers. Good morning, Mrs. Adams. And good morning, Finley Scholars. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning, Finley family. Good morning, Mr. Kirby. And we have a brother and sister on here together. Good morning, Alasia and Alik. It is a good morning. In fact, it is so good. This morning, I was outside a little bit greeting students and inside. And one first grader stopped and just was thinking. And I said, are you thinking about something you need to tell me or are you just relaxing? Because he was just standing there looking around and you know what he said? He said, I'm just thinking about how Finley is so awesome. And I thought, what a great way to start the morning. Every morning I think that, I don't always say it. So I'm going to say thank you, Finley, for being so awesome. And thank you, first grade, for reminding me of that every single day. Yes. And while you were talking, I thought I would put these two words together, the fun zone. The fun zone. Because as you know, we have fun at recess because we're in different zones for many reasons, especially safety. And then we're going to have a fun zone in a sense, figuratively and probably literally, on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Guess who game? And you're going to be guessing very, hopefully very quickly, who these teachers and staff members are. And I can't say enough about how Miss T put that together with Mrs. Brevard's help, because Mrs. Brevard took the pictures. It's a teamwork effort, and Miss T put it all together. So guess who starts tomorrow when the teacher says? Yeah, I heard uh, you mentioned Miss Rivard working on that. I heard that in college, she was an intramural guess who champion on her floor in her residence hall where she lived. So I, that's what I heard. You can verify that with her and see what she has to say about it. Yes, again, what a great way to transition from our home lives into our school work, thinking this is a great place. This is the best place that I could be in today to learn and think about my future. What more is there to hear? I can't even say anything more. I would rather have our Finley family that's here with us this morning share some of their thoughts. Alik, do you have anything you'd like to add to the conversation? I have a shout out. Shout, shout out. out. I have a shout out to Mr. Williams for always being there. Thanks, Alik. I bet you Mr. Williams appreciates hearing that. Alasia? I have a shout out. Shout, shout out. out. I have a shout out for my literacy teacher for help for um um helping for doing um things about bugs um and um flowers because it's almost spring excellent yes it's great timing for learning about those kinds of things because as mrs adams points out the signs are all around us right things are growing you're growing your brains are growing i can see that you're paying attention to details and looking forward to working with your teachers and learning more and you know what that's going to prepare you for Someday, you might find yourself at college. So let's, if you were to graduate from high school, these are the years in the future that you would graduate from college after all that hard work and preparation. So let's make today another great day. We're one day closer to reaching goals and setting goals and meeting them. So let's have a college cheer. One, two, ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. When is this graduate? 20, 20, 20, 32. 
Two, four, six, eight. When the fourth day graduate, twenty, 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 thirty, four. Two, four, six, eight. When this first day graduate, twenty, 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 thirty, four. Two, four, six, eight. When this first day graduate, twenty. 